Hey there do-it-yourself technicians. Today I want to talk to you about antivirus protection and internet security suites. Do you really need to purchase antivirus software? My short answer, and this will surprise some people, is probably not. Windows 10. You are using Windows 10, aren't you? If you're not, upgrade. Stat. Okay, now that we've cleared that up, Windows 10 contains Windows Defender, probably the most widely deployed piece of security software in the world, simply because it's part of every current version of Windows. Now, that doesn't mean it's the best, but it means it sees a whole lot of activity, and that gives it a very broad level of visibility into what is happening in the security landscape. I'll probably cop some flack for this, but my belief is that unless you're really paranoid, have a habit of clicking on dodgy emails, or visiting dodgy parts of the internet, you probably don't need an antivirus package. And the same goes for Mac users, although for a slightly different reason. For most people, built-in is good enough. It's also one less thing to keep track of, one less expense, and it's not draining your system resources to the point where it cripples any computer more than about four or five years old. Putting something like Norton on a brand new PC won't really slow it down in any noticeable way. But boy, can it bog a machine down as it gets older. And it's not just Norton. I've seen older machines brought to their metaphorical knees by any of several internet security packages. If you fall into one of the categories above, by all means, install away. But know that your machine is taking a hit performance-wise. Now, there are other features that you can get built into your internet security suite. Things like online file backup, a password manager, parental control, and a VPN. If you use and want these extras, then maybe an all-in-one security suite is what you want. And my recommendation for the last 15 years has been Kaspersky Internet Security. It's less bloated than some of the others, provides great features, and tests out well in detection tests. It, along with Malwarebytes, are my go-to for cleaning up a PC that's been infected with malware. Oh, and a word about the other third-party free antivirus software. Really, don't bother. It looks a bit like this. Question of the day. Do you use a third-party internet security suite? Which one and why? Let me know in the comments down below. And if this video was useful, give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much. The Tech Doctor exists to help you become your own technician. Learn about the technology, protect yourself from the bad guys, and fix it when it breaks. There's some older episodes you may not have seen before here and here, and you can subscribe to the channel by clicking down here and to our mailing list by clicking up here. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you on the next episode.